welcome back to a brand new episode brought to you by Games Glitches. In today's video we're gonna take a look at pros and cons of greenhouses. What one should know before building a greenhouse because well they have well, quite a lot of rules that one needs to be aware of. So without any further ado as I love to say let's jump into the fun. Now let's take a look at the engrams. As you could see here once I of course scroll down there is the greenhouses and greenhouse windows that you can now build. Please note that the greenhouse structures are available at level 45 with of course with the exception of greenhouse sloped roof which can be obtained at level 50. As you can see each one of these is about 15 to 30 engram points to learn so start saving up some points to build yourself a greenhouse. Now, to build the greenhouse parts, you would first need to, of course, obtain yourself a smithy. Once you, of course, have the smithy, as you could see here, it's actually quite inexpensive to build yourself greenhouse parts. They don't have a lot of HP, they only have 100 HP and can be easily broken by simply punching them. For example, So, make sure that you protect your greenhouse quite well, otherwise any troll or a newbie can just run up and, well, break it to smithereens in a matter of seconds. Now, a properly built greenhouse will have a 300% effect on your farms. So, let's take a look what is considered to be a proper and improper form of building a greenhouse. I will cover what actually works and what actually doesn't. So, let's jump into it. First of all, I will start with one of the most weakest and unpractical designs. One floor high greenhouse. The problem with this is the fact that you can seem to well enter. My character is a medium size, not even a maximum size, and this is how it is. There's barely any space, but nonetheless, if you look at each of the uh, farms, you could see that the greenhouse effect is at 300%, but this is well well, very, very uncomfortable because you kind of got to crawl in there and you have no room to even stand. But this is how it looks like. As you could see, it's a box with the roof over the farms. Now, let's go take a look at a second version. Now, this is, the, of course, the second experiment and the second version that I decided to do, which actually works quite well. As you could see, you can enter, you have a room. Um, on the wiki, it said that apparently if you put your ceilings too high, there's a diminishing return. As you could see, my ceilings are currently four high, one, two, three, and four walls and the ceiling. And as you could see here, its effectiveness is 300%. Here's another example with the ceilings only too high and again the effectiveness is at 300%. So if you decide to build yourself this form of a greenhouse, note that you could build ceilings uh, quite high and you will still retain 100%, well in this case 300% house effectiveness, greenhouse effectiveness. Now because greenhouses aren't durable and break quite easily where you could literally punch through the walls, you could actually upgrade it to tier 3 where you will have a metal surrounding wall all around. But please note, you will have the same exact problem as you would have with the middle house where you would not be able to walk in, where you would have to end up docking because the ceilings will end up kind of being too low. But nonetheless, as you could see here, the effectiveness of the greenhouse effect is still 
300%. But now the only area that you have to protect is now your ceiling rather than the walls. The door does not, I repeat, does not need to be from a greenhouse build for the uh, for everything to have the 300%. I just made these doors because they well nice and see-through. But well, they are extremely fragile. As you could see here, they only have 100 HP and you could easily punch through them. To further demonstrate that you do not need walls, well, at least the greenhouse walls, as you could see here, I have nothing more than a metal pillar with several greenhouse ceilings. And as you can see here, the effect on the farms is at 300% without any walls whatsoever. So you could literally just have a bunch of pillars with cheap ceilings covering your plantation and you will have full 300% effect over your greenhouses. Now before I will end this video with the ultimate form of the greenhouse that I found and the best way to protect it, I will of course go through the methods that one should not do. The first of course would be building a greenhouse where it actually has metal ceilings. Even though you would notice that you can freely walk in this house, though you would notice that the greenhouse effect is at 0%. Even located next to the greenhouse wall, it's all about the ceilings. Whatever ceilings that you have over your farms, that will have the main effect. If you will have greenhouse ceilings, you will have 300%. If you will have metal ceilings, you will definitely have, well, as you could see, 0%. And also please note that early in my video I mentioned that slope ceiling is the one that's at level 50. But I meant to say that all sloped ceilings are at level 50. Meaning including the sloped greenhouses, walls and such are all level 50. Another thing that people make a lot of mistakes on is that they try to stack inside of greenhouses, meaning stacking farms, one farm on top of another inside of a box. Please note that if you cover the sunlight or if you cover the, well, greenhouse ceilings in any form, it will negate all of the effect. For example, as you could see here, I just built a large crop plot. And as you could see here, the effect on greenhouse farms is well zero. There is no effect given by the greenhouse ceilings, even though you technically can see through it. But if you look over here where the crop plot isn't located at, this cr uh, small crop plot gets full 300% of greenhouse effect. So please note, do not cover your ceilings. You will not be able to stack farms properly. Otherwise, you'll end up blocking the sunlight and will not gain full effect from the greenhouse. Now, let's take a look at my pre-favorite design. One of the designs that I really liked, but then I decided to even upgrade further. But to each its own, I will definitely show you guys my design. This is, of course, two floors high, all metal walls. And as you could see here, the greenhouse effect is at 300%. This is one of the most convenient form of greenhouses that you have room to walk around in, room to jump around in, you know, room to view your camera within, and don't have to constantly crouch like this over them and also allows you to well pack this a little more because then you could kind of you know traverse over your plantations if you need to to well harvest them this is was one of them one of my most favorite designs until i discovered something even more interesting introducing to one of the my final crop plot formation greenhouse designs 
the Greenhouse 3000. If you guys find a better greenhouse formation and build, please let me know. But let me demonstrate to you how it works. From outside, it looks just like the normal greenhouse. Also, please note, I, for just a demonstration sake, I've made this ceiling also four high with metal walls. And, of course, put some crop plots right here to show that it, they get the effect at 300%. But this is not what I wanted to show you guys. For example, right here, as you could see, these greenhouse effects on these crop plots it is at 0%. So, I've thought about it. I was like, well, what if the person logs off? You know, you can't be protecting your roof constantly. You can't cover it up. But what you can do is you can build metal hatches so while you're online you could well open them up and receive full light for example as you could see i opened up my hatches we're gonna go back down whoa just like that for a brief second and as you could see the crop plot in the middle well, sorry about this one. I didn't build my hatch right here. I should have. But I just made this for demonstration sake. The crop plot in the middle is at 300% effectiveness. Again, if I go back up and I would close the hatch so you don't think that this is some kind of a joke or a cruel troll. The crop plot now is at 0%. Therefore, you could actually build a full ceiling over your glass ceiling, block it off with hatches, and when you log off, you can actually close them off so nobody can well break into your house because it's actually extremely easy. I mean, with a metal pick, it takes three hits to break through. One, two, three. And that's it. You could now get into somebody's house very, very easily. Also, I think this is feels in a way of a cheap way of the company kind of trying to replicate glass metal mod. But that's just my personal opinion on it. Also, just a reminder, please don't forget to check me out on twitch.tv forward slash games glitches where I play live all the time and I do different game beta giveaways. Last week I was giving away all weekend long the division beta, gave away multiple keys, it's all in the live broadcast. So if you are interested in getting a beta key or coming and talk to me in person, please feel free to jump in on the Twitch. All the information is located of course in the description below well ladies and gentlemen i hope you found this well video helpful and informative as usual please click like please click subscribe and please check out my other videos on arc i have plenty of guides and plenty of exploit videos on different things that one can do in arc thank you all again for tuning in and have a nice day at world of arc Also, please note that everything in this video is currently done in a beta of ARC and is subjected to change. So if it doesn't work for you later, please take a look at when the video was made and make sure that it hasn't been patched out because I do make exploit and guide videos and things do change over time.